this record makes me want to drive. It's like a driving record. It's like, it takes you places and it, there's some really heartfelt country moments on it. There's some feisty moments and that's always what I try to do on records. I try to have a little bit of everything. But this one, the whole vibe across the board is just really, feels very free. Even the title of the album being a horse, I just picture this wild horse like running through a desert and being free. And I think part of that vibe came out of when we didn't feel free and we could write about it. If you really wanna want me, I'll be riding on my pony just to sing and moan and I've never done a concept record and this isn't that by a long shot. But when Luke and Nat and I were writing during 2020, I mean, we missed each other and we wanted to create and we had time to. It's not like, oh, I have an 11 and I have a two and then I have an interview and I have just writing to write. The first song we wrote was Tourist. I'm sunny, sad, and over easy, 100 miles from Alameda, stopping by. I think the Tourist is like the song that I, of all the songs, the song that I want to live out the most. I don't feel like I've gotten to do that that much in my life. Like, I tour. I don't get to be a tourist. The only way I can gather information and for my creative process is to go live life. But with my job and the way that it works, I go everywhere and I don't see much, you know? So we wrote tourists and then we wrote scenes right after that. And we were like, this is kind of cool. We're onto something. We were talking about our travels and where we wanted to go when we could travel again. And so, we started writing towards that. Like every writing session, we would write towards a place and towards some characters we would meet and make up these people like Katie with the K in the desert. And we pulled from people we've met or know or had to run in with in our lives and like made up a character out of maybe a couple of different people. The trucker named Dwayne, no one even argued what his name should be. It just said, Natalie said Dwayne and we're like, that's his name, we know him. We sit and have a gin and tonic at the Satellite Inn. Like, they just sort of wrote themselves into the songs, actually. And I was like, we have to write towards the Northeast. We have been out West, we've been Midwest, we've been to California and Texas, and I, and I could see the map in my head. We hadn't been to Nashville, and we hadn't been on the East Coast, and so we wrote Pursuit of Happiness, which starts off in the coast of Maine, and goes to New York City and the Carolinas, and then we wrote Music City Queen, which comes up from Louisiana and ends up in the Cumberland River. This record's about being who we are and meeting these people that were like, weirdos unite. <laughs> If I was a cowboy, it was I've met a new friend in the last year and a half, Jesse Fraser, and he did the remix for Tequila Does for our summer vibes, and just one of those great people. And he was like, "Hey, I have a date open. You want to write today?" And I was already pretty much done with writing for Palomino, but we were still cutting. And our first time to write together, he played me this really cool country and western track. <laughs> which I loved, and I was like, that's fun, and we wrote If I Was a Cowboy. If I was a cowboy, I'd be wild and free. And I was like, man, this song fits this vibe too. Kind of like the cherry on top, I guess, and it was something I was missing feel-wise. And so I sent it to Luke and John, and I was like, I know we have a couple more days in the studio, I'd love to give this a whirl. And Strange is Natalie's baby. We were sitting on the, on the porch, and she was like, I've got this song, I, we have to write it. It kind of got out there, like in the verses, I felt like it was a little like out there and crazy and saying, take what you will from it, you know? But I was really wanting the chorus to lift the emotion of it. I wanted it to kind of lift and, and go into a happy place. I think we all felt that. It's such a song for a time that we're, that we're in right now, but it doesn't feel like, you know, it won't matter in 10 years e either. There's always something weird going on. The fact that you're just like, all right, let's just have a smoke and have a drink and write a song and feel better about ourselves. And the bridge, we couldn't land on a bridge, so each one of us went and wrote a bridge on our own. Everybody's was different, but it, when we took lines out of mine, Luke, and Natalie's, it all fit together. We all took a break from listening to it for like a month before we sequenced it, because everyone was like, just needed a minute. Acting up felt right for the first song because it sort of eases you in to this like journey. Mirror, mirror on the saddle, hear my rhinestones rattle, catches my ear. Let's, let's get people in like from the first, you know, the first note, the first line of a song, especially the first line of a record. I was like, mirror, mirror on the saddle is kind of cool because I was thinking of the disco saddle at Billy Bob's. So I was like, that'd be a cool visual to start a song with, you know? And then like, where do you go from there? <laughs> like with Billy Bob looking for a new ex and then what? And Luke's like, what about even Tiger Woods couldn't swing it this good? Okay. And it took the song like to instantly elevate it. So I hope people that maybe can't, maybe they live in their hometown and they have a 
full-time job and kids and everything else. I hope this record can like show them some places that we've been, make them feel like they're right along with us. I want people to have the, the, the freedom vibes and the get in your car and drive, take some risks, do something fun.